Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jamie here. Today I'm sharing my May project life with you. This little pouch is where I'm keeping most of my project life, like standard supplies, you know, pens, pencil, glue, scissors. So this, like I said, is the front of my May project life and this is a 9 by 12 spread. Uh, this is a page protector that I um, made myself. It's a 12 by 12 Project Life page protector that I cut down and then use my fuse tool just to make it a 9x12. So what I'm doing here is going through my 6x4 cards to try and find a title card. Um, I wanted to use a colour scheme that had navy in it and that had um, like an orange peachy tone navy to pull out from um, the fact that there is a photo of my little brother joining <laughs> and then also the orange from the photo of my glasses so I use this hello one because if you've seen any of my other videos on project life I like to do hello and then the month I think it looks really cool it's just something I love to do so I'm pulling out that um is it gingham I think it's gingham the gingham card there and then I also pull out this be happy work hard be thankful keep keep helping others I think and love all so I did that card because this was my last prac so I'm going to do a fair bit of journaling underneath that card and make it a flip pocket uh, but we're going to jump right in with the title card so I'm going to get out these craft thickers and these are um, cork I like them a lot except they do peel so you have to be very careful when you're pulling them off because the cork does tend to peel off of the backing of it which is a bit annoying but if you just don't it works perfectly fine so I'm using these stickers to spell out the word may and then I'm also going to use the package of this just to make sure it's perfectly straight and lines up that's the technique that I like to do is something I've always done um, something I'll continue to always do so I'm just fiddling around seeing where I want to put the title and I do just decide to go straight in the center so it says hello May uh, <laughs> just making it very well aware that this is my May project life so in case you didn't know and you're new to my channel I do monthly project life and this year I'm doing a mix of 12 by 12 6 by 12 and 9 by 12 layouts um, I also have in my album my scrapbook layouts and my project life together I like to do them in one big album this year I think I'll be doing two albums um, basically halfway through the year because it's it's July now and I've pretty much filled up the album so it'll be a two album year so I've just put up this uh, tiny word sticker in the top corner I think it just says something like work hard or believe in yourself something like that or maybe the journey and then I'm using this off cut scrap navy piece of paper just to put a little arrow in the top corner um are these called arrows are they bunting it's what you would normally see on bunting I guess so I'm just going to use some double sided tape to stick that down and I think that's all I really do to this card um I do go back to it I think after I wave goodbye in the video and add one little sticker on it but nothing too exciting um this layout I actually really really like I got to use some of the supplies that I got in a haul a little while back uh, the all the cards, the Project Life cards that I use are from the DIY Home Value Kit. This is my Maggie Home sticker book, which I think I've used for every single one of my Project Life layouts ever. I just love it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really great for Project Life. So I'm just flipping through trying to find another arrow sticker that I can put on there because I like to have three embellishments in the top corner. I just don't... The two just wasn't sitting right with my eye. So I'm sticking that down. And also something that I think I should mention is that my project life, I like to make it as flat as possible. I don't like to have really chunky project life because my layouts are generally very chunky. So I like to have the flattest possible um, project life and that those thickers are probably the thickest it would be. So here I am starting to make the flip pocket. So I've grabbed another... Um, three by four card just from my stash to be the one that I'm going to write all my journaling on and then I'm using this washi tape here which I got in a Kidaholic Kits haul um, that I'm going to use to make the flip up pocket so what I do basically is just put it on the tiniest top bit there in the top corner I decided to use this one here because it's black and white and I didn't want to add any more colors I wanted the main focus of the colors to be the uh, navy color the peach color and then a black and white color I didn't want anything more than that so as you can see I'm just fiddling around with it making it perfect the card that I'm using is 
just a dot pattern, um, what you would see in like a bullet journal, it's like that, and the back of the card you will not see because it will be the back of the pocket and there will be a photo of it on the back side so you won't see that, and there we go, just you seeing it flip, I'm just filling around making sure that I'm getting all of that washi off so that it doesn't stick together, and then that's basically all I do with this card, I don't even think, oh no, I do add a little bit of washi in the centerpiece just to make it extra sturdy, you don't need to do that, but I just like to do it, I like to give it a little bit of extra sturdiness, so I'm thinking what I'm going to use right there, and I'm just showing you, oh look it flips, very exciting, <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some other washi from my little washi storage thing here that I definitely need to clean out, it's just got washi chucked in there, so I'm going to use this floral pink one, um, you can't see it that much, so I think it's okay to have just a slightly different pink tone, it's not exactly peach, but it's not fully pink. So I'm just looking for a sticker to cover that little ampersand in the top corner because I thought it was a little bit too big. And I did think I was going to have a fair bit of journaling, so I knew I was going to use both of these cards to actually journal on because I had a fair bit to say this month. It was a big month for me. I finished my last prac for teaching, like I said, so I wanted to do a really big bit of journaling. So I'm going to add this little heart sticker down in the bottom corner. I do try and put it on that card, but I do decide to put it down in the bottom corner, and then I also grab a little sticker as well that says something like, follow your dreams and you'll get there in the end, something like that, something, you know, wishy-washy, but it sort of fit with the journaling that I was doing because it is about, you know, being almost finished my degree and looking forward to the future and what all happens next. Um, Project Life is where I do most of my journaling. I don't do journaling on my layouts, so... If anyone's ever curious to see that, I'm just checking that it fits in there and then as you can see it does. So I'm going to cut the video here and do all of my journaling because it did take me a few minutes and there it is magically all done on my card and I like to do flip pockets like this because if someone was just slowly glancing through my album, you know, not really looking at it, just looking at the pictures, they wouldn't actually see the journaling to flip it up. But if someone is, you know, really looking in their detail to look at all of the things that, you know, are hidden, the flip pockets, the extra little pull tabs and stuff, then this one will be the one that they actually look at and read because it is a lot of journaling and I don't like to have journaling on display. I just, it's not something I like. I don't like my handwriting, so I like to have flip pockets and hidden journaling. So I'm going through this little baggie of, um, labels just looking for a little label to put on this photo of uh my dad's dog my dad's dog is really really big he's an actual found and he likes to sit on chairs so this day he was sitting on the edge of my chair in my room and just staring at himself in the mirror so being a scrapbooker i of course had to take a photo of that um so i just want to to document that and that's sort of something that i think you know 10 years down the track that's the little things that you don't remember and that's kind of why I like to journal on project life and not so much on layouts I feel like layouts are the big the big things um so I feel like I'm going to remember them for example you know, I have a whole album for my formal and there's no journaling in it because I feel like I'm probably going to remember what that specifically is whereas this photo of my dog or my dad's dog staring in a mirror, you're not going to remember that that is. So that one needs a little bit of journaling. Uh, so that card is pretty much done down the bottom. I'm just pulling off a few stickers here to put on this photo of my mum and my little brother. Um, just that says something like, you know, I hope life brings you good fortune. You know, things like that. All the wishy-washy future stuff. Um, but something very nice. And just a little detail there to add to the front. Um, and then I'm adding a little blue heart on this photo of uh, the doggy and then that card's pretty much done and then I think I just have to do that filler card there with the navy gingham so this layer was really really easy to make the only thing that took a while is what is about to come up so these are the chipboard um, embellishments that came with the DIY home kit and I'm just going through them to find something that I want to put on a filler card I'm not a big filler card maker I like to just use the filler cards that come in kits and sort of embellish my photos but I thought I'd challenge myself to really go over the top and um, create a filler card so I use this floral piece what I'm going to do is actually peel off the cardboard on the back so I have cut that out of the video because it did take a couple of minutes to do that and then I do just glue it down with some wet glue because it is cardboard on the back and it's the furry cardboard because I've peeled off a fair few layers 
that it's not going to stick with double sided tape you need to use some sort of wet adhesive to stick it down so that's stick down and I'm doing it again on the half off of the card because I think it sort of makes it feel like it's meant to be there rather than just glued on um, these embellishments are really really nice and I will probably use them more often on layouts rather than project life so I've cut off the edge of the card and then I'm also going to stick down some tiny word stickers here just some random tiny word stickers nothing very deep and meaningful there's a little bit of glue on the on the page protector there so I'm gonna stick that down and then I think that's pretty much it um this is was a really really nice layer I really like the colors and I think um here in Australia May is our autumn so I think that the colors do feel a little bit autumnal so I think do really like how this layout turned out. I think it's really, really pretty. Let me know if you've ever done a layout that you just kind of sit back on and went, wow, I really, really like this. So I'm looking through some puffy stickers from my stash just to add a little bit of an extra element to that photo in the top corner of my dog as well as a little bit of an extra thing to that uh, title card. So I do get the crepe paper. I think it's Journal Studio one and it's sort of like a photo of a, um, like a bug, I think. I'm not sure what it is but the color looked good so I just added it on there and then I also put this little you shine on my dog there who's just sitting there he's a he's a poser so I thought it'd be nice to do you shine and then that's the layout done so I'll have a close-up for the end I hope you've enjoyed this video I enjoyed making this I hope you got some inspiration thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye